Good night, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall says 20 minutes away from 10 o'clock on Monday night. Needless to say, it's raining again. And it was raining a lot of the day in the west of Ireland. I don't know where you are, but I hope you're getting better weather. I was at the funeral uh, this evening, Desi's funeral down in his son's house in a very picturesque picturesque location dune outside Boyle um, over looking Lock Key and Lock Allen there um, met lots of people that I wouldn't have met GA people that I wouldn't have met in years and I'd forgot to I was supposed to be on the road in the morning I was supposed to be at Dublin airport as a quarter to ten to pick up uh, I found out today only that there's one passenger but I, I'd forgot to mention to them that um, I need, I wanted to go to the funeral on Wednesday. Um, but I only found out the funeral arrangements on Sunday because the, the remains only came home uh, yesterday evening or this morning. Um, so the difficulty finding a substitute at such short notice, but they did find one in the finish. So I'm around for the week which suits me just grand as well because I'd forgot about the entry meeting being on so I'd be able to give it a bit more time than being on the road. So uh, I will go to the Mass and go to the graveyard on uh, on Wednesday. Um, so I'm delighted that a substitute driver, whoever he or she is, I'll say a prayer for you that you get on safe on the roads. With two horses running today, there was Tamaris was a non runner. Um, the race, the horse that we wanted to finish second did finish second, but we were last. Um, must be the eight days or something, but going to the first jump, we knew straight away that that horse didn't want to be running today, and it drifted from two to one last night out to five to one. I think it was returned at nine to two. Um, and the horse that which our favourite the last day had an off day. See, normally I don't touch, and I said that last night, normally I don't touch anything under 90 or 95 or even 100, uh, the ratings, because they're too inconsistent. And the second one, um, home free. I thought that might pop out in front today and try and make all, but uh, they kept it behind. To the a good class race, that'll win a race or two, drop to class five or six and carry top weight because it's a big horse you're allowed to carry top weight it's not good enough to after today to go in a class three or even a class four so they'll have to drop it down to uh, to find out what it's worth because it's not worth a lot in the class three as you can see today so on to tomorrow uh now it's not great stuff either tomorrow i uh, uh, one desperate risky bet I'll get this out of the way first this is probably the riskiest I've ever tipped up but there's a, there's a reason for it as I say there's there's rations for everything and there's curtains for cakes Um. the favourite was well beaten the last day Um. it's the most likely winner and the betting suggests that Um. there's a a couple of more that hasn't run over hurdles and one has gone over from Ireland um, first time out and there's only two hurdle runs and they were he was out the back of the television but there's a risk in backing Grandmaster Flash it's an 8 to 1 shot but if you look at his back for him on the flash when it was with Joseph O'Brien in Ireland it was rated not that far off 100. It won off 93 and 94 and two miles and a mile and a half in 2021 of 93 and 94. It was 89 when it left Joseph O'Brien and it had ran a couple of decent races at the distance of two mile. Now they were all on good ground, top of the ground races. Um, we go we drove it into Gary Moore, ran on the flat a few times as well. And interestingly, 
the best run it nearly ran was when there was a bit of cut on the ground that it ran in country for the first time when it was uh, fourth, only beating uh, six lengths uh, to Crescent Lake in uh, in uh, Goodwood. Um, and then it changed yards again on to Brian Llewellyn. Two runs on the flat and then three runs over hurdles. Now it was beaten an almighty amount, 34 year, or 34 lengths, 42 and 55. But it comes in then with a rating of 79. So normally a horse rated 80 would say on the flat would be 120 over hurdles. So this could be a well engineered plan and to throw it out to see how it will run tomorrow. This could fall apart after, you could know after two furlongs what your your the goose your goose could be cooked but it 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 could be that it it could be all right as well so with the class of race that is up against tomorrow i think it's worth a risk but a lot of people say look at it's too risky so don't back it so um that's all i could find that um hereford besides tipping up this a lot of short price favorites and i wasn't doing that um at thirst tomorrow there's a five furlong race on soft ground, class four. Um, wide open, as you would expect this time of the year. The choice is illusionist. The bit of money for it there early because it, it opened at tens, it's into sevens. But if you look at its first run last year, was in Ripon on soft ground and it hadn't ran from the from the previous June so it was off just many that's 10 months um, but it just first time out just third to uh, hyper focus uh, over five furlongs on soft ground like and that was a class two rated 90 it's been kept tipping over over the winter there Um. And it last ran on 13th of March. And it has gone down now from 90 down to 73. So I'm just hoping that the soft ground and it a bit fitter than it was last year, that it, it might uh, ignite a bit of, bit of spark into it. Where has it gone? That's me song he picked out. So it's an each way bet. It's five to one the field, I think. Five to one the field. It's seven to one there with three six five. It's shorter fives with a few there, but it, it was tens earlier. And it's it's um, still um, nearly eights on the exchanges. And at uh, Southall tomorrow night, this will probably be the best of the three of them. Easy equation is a warm favourite. We're taking it on. Six to five, five to four. We're taking it on with the second favourite. Jim Crowley hangs around until 8.30 to ride this. For Jim Best. Four-year-old. The favourite is a six-year-old. But we beat it before. When we, we, on the 2nd of February, over two miles in Lingfield. And that day, Finex was uh, carrying 8 to 13, and his equation was carrying 9 to 1, so there was only £2 with the. Uh, there was a fella, um, Mikael Mortensen, riding. Um, but we're getting. Well, I'll check it in a second. But this, I think this is more toe towards the finish of the race than Easy Equation. Easy Equation is more of a galloper. Crafty Master on the outside is now picking up. Easy Equation got outpaced when they quickened. And then comes Foynix and Duveen turning for home. Roly Poly Moly in front. The Crafty Master of Adelaide to find is running on though on the outside. And then Easy Equation, Foynix picking up very deep on the course. Roly Poly Moly and the Crafty Master. They will do battle. The Crafty Master is now edging ahead. The Crafty Master, he knows where the post is. He'll complete the four-timer for Tony Carroll and William Carson. The Crafty Master to Foynix. Just second, third Easy equation and four we'll meet it that day and well let's see we're getting two pounds i think we're getting six tomorrow 
we're getting eight. So nine stone three is against nine stone eleven. The figures don't add up there with fifty one and fifty seven. What am I missing? If it's carrying eight stone nine stone three and nine stone eleven. And that eight pounds and there's only six in the ratings. I don't know. Maybe it's my maths. But it's a, a price as uh, 11 to 4 as, as against 5 to 4. Seven to 4, 6 to 5. Jim Crowley hanging around until... Uh, but a few other the good jockeys there. Um, Kieran Schumacher and Ross Ryan is as well. Anyway, they're the best I could do for tomorrow. So it's Monday night. What do we do on a Monday night? We sing a bit of a song. This was released in 1972. Um, it reached number one in five different countries. I think it only peaked at number five in the UK. A song for Johnny Nash. <coughs> I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Yes, I can make it now, the pain is gone. All of the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is that rainbow I've been praying for. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. Look all around, there's nothing but blue skies. Look straight ahead, there's nothing but blue skies. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. It's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. That's what I'm praying for, anyway. A bright, bright, sunshiny day. Wouldn't it be great? There's one little thing I'm going to share with you <coughs> before I go. Down at the funeral this evening, I got a memorial card. And on the, the prayer on the back, it's called a blessing. I'll just share it with you. On the day when the weight deadens on your shoulders and you stumble, May the clay dance to balance you. And when your eyes freeze behind the grey window and the ghost of loss gets into you, may a flock of colours, indigo, red, green and azure blue come to awaken in you a meadow of delight. <clears throat> when the canvas frays in the coric of thought and a stain of ocean blackens beneath you, May there come across the waters a path of yellow moonlight to bring you safely home. May the nourishment of the earth be yours. May the clarity of light be yours. May the fluency of the ocean be yours. May the protection of the ancestors be yours. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life. Bash the bookies over and out.